What if everything you thought you knew about your mind was wrong? From the idea that we only use 10% of our brains, to the belief that opposites attract, psychology is riddled with myths that just won't die. These misconceptions don't just spread in casual conversation, they influence how we learn, how we work, and how we understand ourselves. I'm here to set the record straight. Using real scientific evidence, we're going to bust six of the most persistent psychology myths once and for all. Ready to discover what your mind is really capable of? Let's separate fact from fiction. Myth number one, we only use 10% of our brain. Let's start with the granddaddy of all psychology myths, the idea that humans only use 10% of their brain power. Hollywood loves this one. Imagine if you could unlock that other 90%. You'd be a genius, right? Well, here's the problem. Modern brain imaging technology tells a completely different story. PET scans, fMRI and EEG readings show that we use virtually all of our brain, even during simple tasks like reading this sentence. Even when you're sleeping, more than 10% of your brain is active. Your brain is working 24-7, processing information, forming memories, and maintaining vital functions. Think about it logically. If 90% of your brain was useless, why would evolution keep it around? Brain tissue is metabolically expensive. It uses about 20% of your daily calories. Natural selection wouldn't maintain dead weight. Here's the clincher. Damage to any part of the brain typically results in noticeable problems. If 90% was truly unused, Brain injuries would rarely cause issues. But that's not what we see. Busted. We use virtually 100% of our brain. Myth number two, left brain versus right brain personalities. Are you a logical left brainer or a creative right brainer? This myth has spawned countless personality tests and career advice. But it's based on a fundamental misunderstanding of how your brain actually works. The myth comes from legitimate research on split-brain patients, people who had surgery to cut the connection between brain hemispheres to treat severe epilepsy. Early studies suggested the left hemisphere handled language and logic, while the right handled creativity and spatial skills. But here's what we've learned since then. Your brain hemispheres are in constant communication. Modern imaging shows that even simple tasks activate networks spanning both sides of your brain. When you're being creative, writing a poem, solving a puzzle, composing music, you're using your entire brain. Logic and creativity aren't hemisphere specific, they're whole brain processes. Studies have tested thousands of people looking for these supposed left brain or right brain personality types. The result, they don't exist. Your brain is beautifully integrated, not divided into personality camps. Busted, both hemispheres work together constantly. Myth number three, learning styles theory. Are you a visual learner? Do you learn better by hearing information or do you need hands-on experience? The learning styles theory suggests we all have a preferred way of learning and education should be tailored accordingly. This myth is everywhere, in schools, corporate training, online courses. It sounds logical, but there's one big problem. Decades of research have found no evidence that matching teaching methods to supposed learning styles improves learning. None. Here's what actually works. Matching the teaching method to the content, not the student's preferred style. Want to teach geography? Use maps. That's visual information. Teaching music? Use audio examples. Teaching surgery? Use hands-on practice. The most effective learning happens when students encounter information through multiple channels. Visual learners don't learn math better through pictures if the concept is fundamentally mathematical. They learn it better through math. Your brain didn't evolve to have a learning style. It evolved to integrate information from all your senses to build understanding. Busted. No evidence for learning style effectiveness. Myth number four. Memory works like a video camera. How accurate is your memory? Many people think memory works like a video camera, recording events exactly as they happened, ready for perfect playback later. This belief shows up in our legal system, where eyewitness testimony is considered gold standard evidence. But memory researchers know a disturbing truth. Memory isn't reproductive, it's reconstructive. 
Every time you remember something, your brain literally rebuilds that memory from scattered neural fragments. And each reconstruction can change the memory. In famous experiments, researchers have implanted false memories of being lost in a mall as a child, or seeing Bugs Bunny at Disneyland, impossible since Bugs is a Warner Brothers character. Participants remember these events vividly, with rich emotional detail. Your brain fills in gaps with plausible details, influenced by your current knowledge, emotions and suggestions from others. This isn't a bug in the system, it's a feature. Your memory is optimised for meaning and usefulness, not perfect accuracy. This is why two people can witness the same event and remember completely different details. Both memories feel equally real because, to your brain, they are equally real. Myth number five. Opposites attract in relationships. When it comes to romance, we often hear that opposites attract. The quiet introvert falls for the life of the party. The neat freak pairs with the free spirit. It makes for great romantic comedies, but what does science say? Relationship researchers have studied thousands of couples and the data is crystal clear. Similarity, not difference, predicts relationship satisfaction and longevity. Couples who share similar values, interests, backgrounds and even personality traits report higher satisfaction and are more likely to stay together. We're drawn to people who validate our worldview and share our experiences. Even dating apps know this. Their algorithms prioritise similarity in interests, education and values, not complementary differences. Neurologically, we experience positive feelings when we encounter people similar to ourselves. It triggers reward pathways and reduces cognitive effort. Your brain essentially says, this person gets me. Now, this doesn't mean couples need to be identical. Successful relationships balance similarity in core values with some differences in skills and interests. But the foundation is shared ground, not opposite poles. Busted. Similarity predicts relationship success. Myth number six. Multitasking increases productivity. In our fast-paced world, multitasking is often seen as a superpower. The more things you can do at once, the more productive you are, right? Here's the inconvenient truth. Your brain cannot truly multitask with complex cognitive activities. What we call multitasking is actually rapid task switching and it comes with serious costs. Studies show that multitasking can reduce productivity by up to 40%. Each time you switch tasks, your brain needs time to refocus. That's called switching cost. Those microseconds add up to significant time loss. Multitaskers also make more errors. When your attention is divided, your working memory is overwhelmed and mistakes slip through. There's a biological cost too. Task switching triggers stress hormones like cortisol. Chronic multitaskers show elevated stress levels and report feeling more frazzled and less satisfied with their work. The alternative? Deep work, sustained focus on a single task. This produces higher quality output, greater satisfaction and better learning. Your brain performs best when it can dive deep, not skim the surface. Busted. Multitasking reduces performance and increases stress. So there you have it. Six psychology myths thoroughly debunked by scientific evidence. But here's the bigger question. Why do these myths persist despite overwhelming evidence against them? These myths survive because they're appealing. They offer simple explanations for complex phenomena. They make us feel special, like we have untapped potential or unique learning styles. They give us convenient excuses or quick fixes. But science isn't about what we want to be true. It's about what is true. And the truth about human psychology is far more fascinating than any myth. Your brain is already using its full capacity in remarkable ways. Learning happens best through evidence-based methods that challenge you. Lasting relationships are built on genuine compatibility. And focused attention creates your best work. The real story of human psychology isn't about limitations to overcome or secrets to unlock. It's about understanding and working with the amazing system you already have. So the next time you hear a psychology fact that sounds too good to be true, ask yourself, what does the research really say? Your sceptical thinking is your best defence against the next myth that comes along. Remember, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Your brain deserves better than myths. It deserves the truth.